We have so much fun during the commercial breaks. <laughs> We're talking about an event. It's Inclusive Voices. It's coming up on the 5th of April. And um, Lucille, why don't I get you to just tell me the specifics? It's at the Fairmont, correct? It's at the Fairmont in the ballroom. And it starts at 1115 with a um, sort of a reception for okay. about uh, 45 minutes. And then you go into the seated lunch at about noon uh, to the table that you've been assigned to. Okay, and it really is. It's designed to happen during the lunch hour. It is designed to happen. Part, yeah. You will be out by 1.30. So, okay, yeah, all right, absolutely. so it doesn't disrupt the day. No. And Patrice, I know there are, we talked about people supporting, but it also takes the community at large to help support this effort as well. Absolutely, and we'd love to just thank EQT. We have Highmark, PNC, UPMC, the Heinz Endowment. They've all been just wonderful and supportive sponsors. For many years, for several years. Some of them, for ten, most of them for yeah. 10 years. For 10 11, years, yeah. wow. Absolutely. And Connie, I want to come back to you because you mentioned that you attended. Now, when you went that year, and I, I, you may have said, I just don't remember what year it was, uh, did you know what to expect? No, absolutely yeah. not. I had no idea what to expect. Um, my colleague just said, um, do you want to come to lunch? <laughs> 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 I, I host, I'm hosting a table. So oh, I, have, I, okay. I didn't know much about Pace, uh -huh. um, and I didn't know much about the event. Um, but once I got there, and funny thing, when you go to Inclusive Voices, watch out, because they also sometimes want you to be a board member. So yeah, that's, that's yeah, how it that happens. <laughs> it happens. I was going to say, and I kind of, I was going to ask Patrice next, because I introduced you as a planning committee volunteer. That's, how does that happen? <laughs> My CEO one day said, I think you'd be really good for Inclusive Voices. Would you, would you like to sit in? And I said, sure. And then I ended up being the table host. <laughs> I remember I looked at Miss Lucha, I was like, what am I supposed to say? Like, what am I supposed to do? I really wanted a plan. And I ended up sitting down and I had some really great people. And we just had an organic conversation. It was just absolutely wonderful. And then I got the email again. And I was like, I guess Pace is the calling. Oh, well, there so you go. Absolutely. Like, there I'll, you go. I'll, and, you know, and we are called to these things sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we just don't even know it. So what's the takeaway today? Can, well, let me ask you this first. Uh, can people still get tickets? People can still get tickets. Okay. You can get them uh, via the web. Okay, um, which is? At www.pacepgh.org. -E okay. And uh, you can still buy several tickets. Okay. Yep. All right. So so folks, but folks need to get on that now. You need yeah. to get on it because we yeah. do sell out. I was going to say, you've it sold It sells out this, every year. Yeah, you've sold It sells out, out every year. Yeah. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Isn't that a nice thing that to is be a able nice to thing. say? It that sells out thing. every year. Yeah. <laughs> Connie, I'm going to let you wrap this up. What's the one thought you want folks to walk away with? The folks who have never been, why should they go? Why should they come? I think just out of curiosity of what the event's all about and the fact that they're going to really gain a lot from attending the event. Okay. And I know I said I was going to let her wrap this up, but I want to come back to you, Patrice, because the other thing, um, and I know you, you guys have this list with all the guests, and we couldn't possibly name all, all the of the guests. All of the guests, that's right. And if you name one, you got to name them all. <laughs> but the other thing that struck me was that sometimes people come to your table just not necessarily because they're interested, say, in my case, in communications, but they're interested in the interaction. Like, you don't have to pick a conversationalist in your field or anything like that. Absolutely not. Um, the majority of the folks at the table, I didn't even know. They didn't know my profession. They didn't really know where I worked, but it worked and we had a great conversation and it was it was worth, I, I absolutely enjoyed every moment. Indeed, let's give that website again. <coughs> www.pacepgh.org. Okay, so get your ticket now. It is the 11th annual Inclusive Voices. I assure you, you will not regret that decision. When we come back, the owner of a new country club in Freeport, I believe it is. I hope I'm not wrong about that, but wait till you meet her. Don't go away. The Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. We'll be right back.